take it very, very seriously. People are having family members coming over that might have been out and exposed to other people. How I say it, you don't know what's lingering in your body. And you could just kind of even be a carrier and not have the symptoms and give it to somebody else. He was at the emergency room at CMC in Scranton. The doctors there determined that he needed some life-saving measures. He was pretty severe in terms of how COVID had actually affected him. He was intubated on a ventilator, the ECMO, and then it was a short time later that um, his kidneys decided that they weren't having it and he ended up on dialysis as well. He was coughing and there was like discolored stuff coming up that I've never seen in my life. It's rough. I mean, you gotta really avoid it. I mean, very early on, I mean, I imagine it was difficult for me to have known that I needed to avoid it. And uh, certainly I put myself in harm's way somehow. Just gotta watch out for yourself. My father had passed away and succumbed to the COVID virus as well. In the meantime, my mother was here in intensive care also for the COVID virus. They're telling you to wash your hands, wash your hands. If saying social distancing, stay the distance away from each other. This is not something to take lightly. This is not something to think is a joke. When you're sitting there and you're looking at your loved one knocking on death's door, it's horrible. You can't even imagine. So please, by all means, be serious, take it serious, listen to the recommendations, do what's being asked because it, it, the outcome can be quite negative. And, and luckily, you know, for my, my brother and my mom, they were able to overcome 